guys, Cruel Blonde Live. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Star Wars Rebels, where last time, look what you have become a rat in the desert. Aladdin? No. Oh. That's what Darth Maul no. said to Ben Kenobi last time. Rat. He, he, Aladdin was a street rat. And then he, he said, uh, rat. Who hasn't seen Aladdin? The dive risen above. I haven't seen it in a long time. Twin Suns we watched just the last rest time. Of and we close the book on the story of Star Wars Rebels. Now we're starting we're Kenobi. We're all Kenobi's done. gonna be coming up, but uh, we still have not a lot, but at least a season and a little tiny bit of uh, Star Wars Rebels to get through. I'm yeah. excited. Story continues. Twin suns. Twin moons. <laughs> Birdie. That's not a Tie Fighter. It still made the noise. <laughs> no, it's not a Wookiee. Adolescent or otherwise. You know. Oh. Governor Price, I bring urgent news. Of course. Right this way. We have you now. We still have a traitor in our midst. We need to be highly cautious about what we discuss and where we speak. And what I'm about to say cannot fall into the Rebels' hands. <laughs> the Rebels of the so-called Phoenix Squadron are about to launch a major military strike against the Empire. They wouldn't dare. Oh, believe me, they would. Everything leading up to this moment has been rehearsal. The real performance is about to begin. I'm counting on it. Got those codes for Lothar. Uh-huh. I want you to capture their leadership. In such a battle, it may not be possible to take prisoners. Oh, but a man of your talents will manage. <laughs> if we are to crush this rebellion, we must make examples of its leaders. As you wish, Governor Tarkin. Mm. King, I didn't do any of this. If not for you guys, I'd be back on Lothal just waiting to be rescued like everyone else. Ezra, you have never been like everyone else. Hera always saw something special in you, and so did I. In fact, sometimes I wonder if I have anything left to teach you. No, that can't be true. My own Jedi training was limited. I don't mean about the Force. I mean about life, about being a good person. That's what you've taught me. General Dodonna and the Masasi group will be here any minute. General Dodonna? That name sounds familiar. It should. He got those Y-Wing bombers we stole. He commands one of the largest rebel cells I know of. With him and his fleet, we have a real shot at taking out the Imperial factories on Lothal. Sweet! Welcome to Avalon, General Dodonna. Thank you, Commander Sato. This day has been a long time coming. Hopefully we can finally deal a blow to the Empire and show the rest of the galaxy what we're capable of. This is Fulcrum with an urgent message. Thrawn knows of a... Well, um, knows about this too. By the light of Lothar's moons. It's gonna turn to sound. That is your code phrase, isn't it, Agent Gallus? Or would you prefer I address you as Falcrum? <laughs> he takes those robots. <laughs> your technique is good, but limited by your training in the Imperial Academy. Predictable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Predict this, bitch! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, thank God that rules there. Death Troopers. The one time is a rail. You have the heart of a rebel. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I love when the organ comes in. Now we're gonna take a look at it. Arranged so well. 
A pity you do not study art, Agent Callus. There is much it can show you, if you know where to look. Such as a system which does not appear on Imperial charts, but is represented in the art of the ancient people of this sector. I believe they call this Atalon. Not the home of your rebel base. I'm gonna track the stars. The spiders will get them. This is your Roman with an urgent message. Thrawn knows about... Thrawn knows? Knows about what? About the attack on the fall? Something's happened. Most of the Imperial fleet left the system. What does it mean? We have Imperial Star Destroyers incoming. Oh, not waste time. Scary. All personnel, code K10. Evacuate immediately. Jog, Whiteley. All craft, jump to hyperspace. Regroup at Rally Point Nova. I still have people on the surface. If we wait, they'll cut us to pieces, Commander. Go. We will cover you. No! How'd they do that? Pull them out of hyperspace. If that is true, they had that technology. There will be no escape. Clone Wars. Ah, uh, shit. Supremacy, but just really small. <laughs> what of Governor Tarkin's prisoners? General Didana is known for his courage. He wouldn't be aboard the first vessel to flee. Its crew is therefore irrelevant. <laughs> At last we meet in this theater of war, however briefly. There is no escape and your forces are badly outnumbered. This uh, rebellion ends today. We'll never surrender to you, Thrawn. You misunderstand, Captain. I'm not accepting surrenders at this time. Now, let us proceed. He's built everything up to this moment. We don't have the strength to meet Thrawn mm -hmm. head on, but I will get us to safety. Ezra and Kanan will take the gauntlet. Yes. I'm not leaving you. This is our fight too. There's no time to Disposable argue. Disposable As Jedi, you have the best chance to escape, and there's no one I trust more to get the help we need. You're going. Chopper two. That's an order. Hera, I can't leave yet. There's someone I have to warn about this out in the wilderness. What? Kanan, no. I need you and Ezra to go get help. That's what I'm doing. You mean from it's him? It's right hey, over there. I'm a persuasive guy. Go get him. <laughs> what are you talking about? You wouldn't believe me if I told you, but I need you to trust me. A lot of fighters. All wing, our proton bomb to follow me. Seventies mustache. <laughs> yes. You have brought war to my quiet world, Kanan Jarrus, Jedi Knight. And I will have no part of it. So you're just gonna let us die? You think the Empire won't kill you too? I am beyond your worrying at wars. I am unseen, unknowable, like a rock in the river. Do you think it chance this world was so difficult for you to find? Huh? I tried to live that way once. Told myself the galaxy would go on with or without me. But when I saw innocence harmed and knew I had the power to do something about it, I couldn't just watch it all burn down around me. Some things are worth fighting for. You know what rocks in the river do? They divert flow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do skipping. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That sucks. Losing their Y wings. Hera, I can't get through. Those interdictor cruisers are cutting us off. Stay sharp, Ezra. We'll find you that opening. I know. Just hurry. All hands, abandon ship and make for Atalon. Staying, Commander. Very well. Man your stations. Is his son here? Nephew. Nephew. <laughs> Iron Brigade. Iron Squadron. That's the Avenge. 
Move to intercept. But, sir, Admiral Thrawn ordered us to maintain our position. Move to intercept! What does he know? I will not be denied the glory of this kill. Just can't find good help. I've had enough of your games, Grand Admiral. We're winning! <laughs> <laughs> you mean Grand? He is! <laughs> Have you heard his music? Too late. That looks so good. Sir, one rebel ship escaped the blockade. Constantine was careless. Let's hope he did not undermine my efforts. Press the attack, force them to ground. Pods. And they have no defenses. All ships, return to base. You can feel it, can't you? My friends are dying. Such is the very fate of all living beings. Not like this. I will not fight your petty battles. You'd rather hide like a coward. I will not be called a coward by the likes of you, King of Jarrus. Perhaps it is the will of the Force of the Jedi that all your kind perish, and I share the will of the Force. Could have gone better. Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> Turned into a storm, I guess. Skipped. No, we can't go back. Not without help. And I think I know where to find you. Hondo. Sabine. Oh. Right. Mando. <laughs> <sighs> it's a big cast. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of voices in this one. Nancy Brown's third, fourth role. How many times is he gonna be in Star Wars? <laughs> many times as he needs to be here. That's how many he deserves more. <laughs> <laughs> he should play Kenobi. Green Kenobi. leader was Dave Filoni. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kyoan Young as Commander Sato. Had a great swan song. He did. Let Ezra get away. To go get the Mandalorians. Come back and turn the tide. I mean, they can't win. Like we know that. Luke is a new hope. Yeah. But so, why do we know that, Rick? You're forgetting one more thing, the two, right? Opening crawl. Isn't it a new hope's opening crawl where it's like they had their first major victory? Sure. Right? Like, that's one of the things, too. There's always those things where, like, the same with Clone Wars, where it's like, well, General Grievous and Anakin Skywalker can't meet, but they can do everything but see each other and say, hello, how are you? You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, well, the Rebels have to do something, but the Rebels can't have their first major victory until a new hope, you know? Sure. Well, until Scarif. Yeah, well, yeah, and they, it's coming off their first one, but Rogue yeah. One is that victory. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah, exactly. Like, you're not going to defeat the Empire because you need... What, the Twin Sons, they, they didn't get anything from Twin Sons, you know? Sure. Ezra's thing is, like, how do we defeat the Empire? Like, uh, Twin Sons. And he, they got nothing. <laughs> they got nothing. I mean, we don't know what happens to Thrawn. Yeah. So, like, they could defeat Thrawn, but they can't. They can't win. Sure. Same with, like, the Inquisitor we had, right? The Grand Inquisitor we had, and it's like, well... They defeated him, and he fell into but the But now fire. we have Vader. <laughs> and there is Vader. Sure. Now Theron doesn't have Constantine to drag him down. Right? Constantine has been in here for a while. <laughs> he has been. <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe yeah. longer than Sato. <laughs> was he, he season one? He was, he was season, season one. one. <laughs> and he wanted the glory. I mean, I have to respect Thrawn just for, like, not just being like, What the fuck are you doing? You know? <laughs> Sato, get back into position. Get into your position. I mean, he yeah, he pulled a Governor Tarkin. Yeah. Speaking of... Evacuate in our moment of triumph. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say, speaking of, like, I said it last episode, but Stephen Stanton, AP5 singing in the galaxy, and then he's Ben Kenobi, and then the next episode, he's Tarkin again. Like, yeah. the guy can just do everything. <laughs> <laughs> and he has really good voice 
like yeah. it felt like an Alec Guinness kind of voice. It felt like a uh, Peter Cushing. Yeah, Peter Cushing. Yeah, like Cushing. type of voice. You know, like it felt like oh that it sounds like yeah. Tarkin. You yeah. know, like it, he he does a good job with it. And a moment of triumph. He does a good job with those voices yeah. and stuff. That Alan Rick sounds like Alan Rickman ro- robot. Exactly. Right. And everyone agrees except for these two. The entire <laughs> world. They came into the Star Wars fandoms like, look, we're changing this. You're wrong. <laughs> everyone else is biased. Everyone else is wrong. Biased. Yeah, they were told that, hey, this is supposed to be no, like this guy. We hear it. We heard it. And a then professional, we... amazing voice artist does it. You guys are like, eh. What does he know? That's perfect Ben Kenobi. <laughs> you did a perfect Ben Kenobi. No no question about that. Oh man. What do you guys think about the Bindu? I did not expect Bindu to fight or be as scary as he is. Do you think he was going to help? He's pretty scary. I didn't figure he was going to fight. I mean, it's not over at yet. first. Sure. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's that thing like, well, if you let one side win, where is the middle then? Yeah, where's the balance? Yeah. Right? I am the one in the middle. Like, you have to... If you are the balance, if you are the fulcrum, as it were, you know, in the middle of the seesaw... You have to move based on which side is heavier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or well, which side is longer. Yeah. Has a longer reach. Yeah, Leverage. I mean, that's what... It's a, it's a real hard question or answer, but that's what the will of the Force is, right? Mm-hmm. Like, at the end of Episode 3, you have two Sith. You have Vader and Palpatine. And what happens when all the Jedi are gone? Twins. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, balance is achieved. There's so many... I'm going to feel really bad for Thrawn. If he loses because of like Bindu and the weather, mm-hmm. it's just so many like great generals right. just are screwed over by the like weather. The weather, it's like God damn it! Like come in space, on. there's no weather. You know, he's great in space. You go here, there's you go here. Ion you go storms here. and shit. I know, but just like in the meteor shower, in the sheer amount of space there is, that's so small. I know. <laughs> I mean, they've they've literally gone through a nebula and ignited it to sure. blow up ships. And there's shit. always the like, okay, I got five star destroyers and a. Indictor here, right? Yeah. And that sucks. And there's a planet, and you always want to go like just go around the planet. <laughs> <laughs> they don't yeah. have one over there. Like, yeah, I, I assume there's... there's a good reason, but like the blockade is here. Yeah. It's like maybe that way is right? a good idea. It's, well, the answer, it's always one of the things I always think about too, because you saw like the ghosts and all that coming up, and as they're coming up, you see like just space and nothing. It's like, just, yeah. can they go that way? You know. <laughs> but I mean, this is. It's really hard, I think, for a lot of people to understand. But it's, it's kind of like people talking about the Last Jedi, and like they're just they're just it's just like a slow space chase, right? Um, well, they can only you can only jump to certain spots, right, in hyperspace. You have to go into a certain lane. If you don't, if you just go into something that's never been charted, you might what's what Han Solo says, right? You might fly through a star, bounce too close to a supernova, yeah, sure. and then you'll end your trip real quick. Real quick. You know, sure. So they have to go with a certain spot, um, and then the Empire can just literally chase you if you try to. Oh, I'm just go this way. They can literally just chase you, and then you get to the point in the sequels when they've developed hyperspace tracking, then you're real fucked. And then it is a matter of just who has the most gas. Sure. No, so it that. might be that they literally, if they went around this planet, they had to just come back to where you enter hyperspace. Sure, you I know? guess so. It, it, yeah, it's hard to measure. Like when you're out in space and there's like, well, there's plants everywhere and there's stars everywhere yeah. and there's big gaps in between both. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to hit any of that. Like yeah. I imagine that's a, a thing that could be an issue. But it's, yeah. hard, it's hard to imagine how that works. It is. Because like... Because so much space is emptiness. Yeah. Like the, the odds of you hitting something should be so small. It is. Like, like all we have is our solar system. How many stars are in our solar system? You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Like if we were going to fly to Mars, how many stars are you going to hit? Well, it's one in our solar system. You got the sun, but that's the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's on the other side of the sun, you got to go past yeah, it or something. I was going to say, because we could be on opposite sides. Yeah. You know. So, like, you're, there's... And, like, what we know, there are no stars in the way of planets that are going to yeah. be a problem. But sure. in this galaxy, like, I don't I don't know. And like, Star Wars, there is. Yeah, I guess. I, mean, I suppose. I mean, they're, they have a lot bigger of a galaxy, right? They Star Wars is in the name. The core, the core planets, and they have the, the mid, the and they have the outer rims, rims and all that stuff. And it's like, well, how many planets are there? And do they all have? It's another thing too, where it's like hyperspace is technically another dimension. It's not just you're going real fast. Yeah, like you're literally bouncing into like a different dimension and coming out in a different space time. I suppose, but that's the case. Then why do you have to have hyperlinks? 
Well, because you, you have know to. What I mean? Well, yeah, I get you. Like they still like it's like they're it, subject to the idea of space in the terms of like where it flows. It's like it you have like to get up to eighty-eight there. miles an hour to travel through time, and yeah. you can go th- through time as far as you want, but you have to have that runway to get the car up to eighty-eight miles an hour, right? Sure, but you're not doing dimensions. That's just that space and that speed. Like I get that. Unless yeah. you count time as a But dimension. then after you yeah. hit eighty-eight miles an hour, and there's the flame tracks and stuff, there could be a building there. Yeah, you know? but then you vanish, and you appear in that same time right where you were. But the other dimension might be rife with shit too, and they have to plot that. You know? I mean, the thing would be like if it's like the upside down, where that other dimension is just a shitty yeah. version of the dimension you live in. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's just like, yeah, it's we're going into this, all this hyperspace. Everything is, everything is <laughs> yeah. still there, but you have to avoid, like, if you're going down a street and you're doing Back to the Future shit, you're going to be in that same street on the other side, so you still got to avoid all the same stuff. Yeah, like potholes. And to the people that messaged me last time we talked about this, and it was like, oh, this is the sequels messing things up. No. You still have to, you have to accelerate to light speed to enter hyperspace, but they're not necessarily the same thing. Just wanted to put that out there. Oh. I don't know who those people are. It's like them going through the Fools. ships and stuff. Yeah. Like, right. you know, like the Falcon can make, you know, 0.5 past light speed. Like, it still has to go that fast to even enter hyperspace. Which is like the Back to the Future. Situation. Yeah, like 88 miles an hour. And once you hit that, then you can go there. Yeah. So that's what's stopping, like, the ties. Because mm-hmm. they just can't go that they fast. They can't go that fast. Yeah. They don't have a hyperspace generator they don't got the coaxium coaxium um i like first time we've heard adelon did they mention that before i don't don't think think they have right like thrawn being like it weirdly to me just because what we watched before this reminded me of adelon sure (laughs) yeah but uh i mean yeah this planet that ancient cultures put in their sky that thrawn has yeah that that was pretty cool i like how a lot of it all connects together because you have where you know, all this has been because of all the things he's been doing the whole time, right? He's been yeah. monitoring the way they operate. He's watching, like, what's going on. He catches he's fulcrum. He's studying their he's been, art. Like, yeah, he's been like, okay, I'm suspicious of this guy, but I'm not catching him yet. You know, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Now they're going to attack. I'm going to get everybody at once. I'm going to get Dodonna. Yep. I'm going to get, like, the entire Rebel fleet. Sato. Yeah, everybody. And, I mean, but, it's his reputation, too, because he has Mon Mothma thinking, like, we can't do that. He's probably planning on it. Yeah. Yeah. But then you have also, like, oh, well, there's no planet there. It's like, yes, but I've been mm-hmm. studying art, and the art of this shows a planet here called Adelon. And it's just, like, all the shit that you're like, this guy's crazy, he's not doing anything, like, he's never going to make it, or he's just studying art. Why is he studying art? No one else studies art. It all comes back around and helps well, with yeah, it, you know? Yeah, it's like Sherlock Holmes. It's like, why do you write five books on cigarette ash? It's like, well, because of this exact moment where I deduced the murder because of the cigarette ash. Look at us. Ha ha. Did you do that? I can't see if That's they said Adelon <laughs> But it's before. great. I don't it, think... It was, the, it was Chopper Base is what they've called yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think they ever called it Adelon. So hmm. I think it's the first time they've mentioned it. Is that the name of the planet or the system? I thought he said the Adelon system. Um, the... I thought he said, uh, maybe, maybe he said system. But I guess it could be the planet and the system. Most of the time, like New York, like New York. the main planet is the system. Yeah, I was going to say, there's like a tricky thing about system versus planet, where there's a lot like of Hoth, times they're the same. The which, is the, which is the sixth planet in the Hoth system. And then there's the Hoth asteroid belt, but they're also in the Anoet sector. Sure. <laughs> there's there's like, a lot of weird things. There's, I know what. There's Anoet. like uh, Indoor, right? And they go to this. And then there's like sector. Yavin. Yeah. And like... There's, all kinds of stuff. Like, well, here's a system, but then there's a bunch of stuff there. I never heard it really called this, but Dodonna's group was called the Masasi group, which the Masasi Temple is on Yavin 4. That's where they are in Episode 4. Hmm. I think I've heard Masasi before. Yeah. Like one other time when they were talking about... Yeah, I don't remember picking it up in Rebels before, but maybe. Interesting. Yeah, I would have it, got it. Less, maybe it was it one sounds familiar to me. Maybe yeah. it's similar to something else, but... I didn't. Mm-hmm. Like Chicken Tikka Masasi. No. That's what you're thinking. That's, That's where you're, you're thinking confusing it. I get a cow. It yeah. happens. It's masala. Now I'm hungry. I hungry too. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had. I really like the uh, discussion between Kanan and Ezra in this one. I was like, I'm not even sure I have anything else to teach you. I was like, mm-hmm. you have plenty to teach me. Teach me about life. It's not about the Force. I've had. 
a shitty yeah. life of being a street rat, and now I'm a soldier. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, you're my dad. <laughs> yeah, basically. And like, he lost his parents, right? And yeah. He kind of found that family, and it's not necessarily the Jedi stuff that keeps him around. What if yeah. Kanan's parents are still out there somewhere? Yeah. Maybe, but Possibly. any records of that would have been destroyed, right? Well, they probably have them to hunt them down. Because if they had one Jedi kid, they might have more, right? So they probably keep an eye on them. Maybe. Yes and no. The, the Jedi, Jedi are pretty track. rare, right? I mean, it's it's a very privileged piece of information too. Remember, like the Jedi had them in their holocron the yes, that yeah. Cad Bane had to try to go get, and then Fallen Order had stuff like that too. Mm-hmm. So you can track. Uh, I, I'd imagine through genealogy, like maybe potential of Force, but it's not just all oh, your parents were strong with it. It's not it happened just randomly, you know. Sure. Like, if it was all just genetics, the Jedi should definitely not... Wasn't in the uh, OD... For attachment, because you're just going to kill the, yourselves. In the ODU, yeah. like, they weren't... Some of the kids that they had weren't all Force-sensitive, right? Or were they all Force-sensitive? I'm trying to remember. Like, we had Jason and Ben and... And Anakin. And Anakin and stuff. They were all Force-sensitive. But were they all Force-sensitive? I thought there was one that wasn't. Or oh, they all were. Were they all? Yeah. Jason, Jaina, and Anakin were Han and Leia's, and Ben was Luke's son. Hmm. And I'm just thinking of, like, other characters, like, like Kip and stuff. Sure. Because, like, that one, like, he was strong in the Force. He just was strong in different ways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Couldn't do the other stuff. Corrin. Is it? You're yeah. thinking Corrin Horn? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Kip Durin. That's your Kip thinking. Durin is, uh, he was, he was a in pilot, this, right? Yeah, he, was a, he was a slave in the spice mines at Kessel. They yeah. found him. And then he got, like, possessed by a Sith Lord. Yeah. In the Masasi Temple, because yeah. in the old canon, the Masasi oh. were actually a version of the Sith. So there was actually a dark side or temple that we didn't know about yeah. until, like, oh, shit, there's and, a Sith Lord here! And they had a thing, I think, with, like, there was some kind of thing, and that's how the Sith was yeah. still holding on to, like, that area or whatever. Like, it was, like, a relic or something. Mm-hmm. Like, they can't, like, the Sith couldn't exist as, like, Obi-Wan, but they could do, sure. like... They could be like uh, they could attach a, themselves to like an attached object, to something kind of thing. Is like, like a Horcrux like, or a lick, kind of a lich. It's like the Jedi could like, live if... after death, whereas the Sith, like, they could become parasites. They could become like ghosts, but not life in that way. But all it's all can, not so. canon anymore. And some stuff is like that now, and some isn't. I guess the thing is like. Leia didn't show signs of forces early or something, but she also wasn't trained right away either. Yeah, no, she. Didn't. Whereas like Luke didn't necessarily show a lot of force sensitivity, but mm-hmm. once he got trained, he started gaining really quick. As opposed to Anakin, who like was getting like premonitions when racing and yeah. stuff, you know, like he was yeah. showing it right away. When Luke was a good pilot, was the only yeah. thing, right? Sure. Leia, as a princess, probably wasn't given many opportunities to strive for stuff like that, like physically, probably. You know? But she did. She was extremely amazing at diplomacy. And you could say that there's some aspect to that. Maybe she Being was able like, to I mean, like make the right choices. Also, a little bit of Padme in there too. Yeah, yeah true. Sure. It'd be interesting. If, like she was like unwillingly like force tricking a little bit, like, like a, force manipulation, like, like a mind trick a little bit. It's well, like, even, you want to agree with me though, right? It's even like, just I like the, agree with you. the art of conversation, <laughs> knowing what to say, when to say, you could do that with Jedi reflexes. Yeah, I guess it's true. Even if you have like an idea of what's coming and being yeah. like, I already have an answer for it, mm-hmm. like in a fight, but it's. Words. Is that why she gets so upset when he says, "I don't want to discuss this in a committee"? I'm not a committee. I'm not a committee. <laughs> she's, she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a committee. The other way of pushing her buttons. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame her. Her literal, the entire planet was destroyed. Yeah. She's pretty well adjusted, considering, you know. Yes. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much everything I had for the episode. We're rolling out for Zato. And, and those brave mm. soldiers. Yeah. Right? Uh, he sends everybody off, but those two guys don't like. We're staying commander. Yeah, it's so good. Who are those? Who played them? Uh, Steve Bloom was one Probably of them. Steve Bloom and I, I think. Uh, Maybe Clancy? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was a rebel pilot, rebel pilot, rebel officer. Yeah. Uh, yep, one of them. Hmm. Uh, Maybe no. D. If I can Steve rebel Bloom's, crewman. like, on the rebels as Zeb, and he's on the rebels as a pilot, and yeah. then he's in the Empire, I'm like. What side are you on, man? <laughs> Which one? Steve. Yep. Steve. <laughs> yeah, because of the voice <laughs> being everywhere. Why is he confused? No, I get you. He does that a lot. See a space cowboy. 
But right. no, I love Sato's, like, you, you have the voice over the radio and stuff. Like, I can't get through. It's like, we'll find you an opening. And like, all these ships are blowing up and people are dying and stuff. And he's like, move to here. Get ready to jump. Yep. Move to heading 221. And everybody's like, that's in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do something. <laughs> a lot of rebels die this episode. Oh, yeah. Wow. They lose a lot of ships. To Donna's like and entire three rebel cells, right? and they're not even out yet. You know, like they they got grounded now. Now they're on the ground. Now what? Which I mean, it's callous, but like it's easier to replace men than those big old those big ships. Well, well especially on the rebel side. Yeah, well, right? there's there's not rivers in space. <clears throat> there's rivers on the ground. Well, we're going to the ground. It's almost as if Cannon knew that was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Sure. It's like, well, maybe I need some help here. Maybe. And you guys mentioned well, you Rick. It's like well, the spiders. I was like, yeah, yeah. they're fighting in space, though. Yeah. <laughs> but if they can come to the ground, maybe no, the spiders will help. You know? I've played uh, Battlefront. It always goes to ground at some point. Or space. I guess I, the opposite. Yeah. I like the the similarity between Kanan asking the Bindu to help while his friends are dying, and then the Emperor teasing Luke because his friends are dying. You know, seeing it, it's like... forget the exact words that he used but like why won't you help me can't you see my friends are dying it, it just really pulled me back into that when he's like looking out the window and the emperor's trying to like all offer the flashes his of the friends explosion. like join me and i'll save your friends yeah yeah they don't all have to die do you think the bendu's favorite actor is frankie munez is that, is that what you're doing? You're making a middle joke. Malcolm in the middle! <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe as we gotta see what happens next to our rebel cell and if they get defeated by Thrawn. Thank you, Santa. Blindwave.com. Okay. Oh, yeah. Life is okay. <laughs> is that the song yeah. from it? I've never watched it.